Hello, John Dilworth here. Let's see how we're going to get away with uh, this layout. And it always begins with delicacy. And the reason for the delicacy, if it's not obvious, is so that when it comes times to come it comes times. Oh my goodness! So you know exhaustion arrives when your tongue and your brain do not coordinate. So, um, so that if we're going to make changes, it's not going to require a lot of effort to erase. And we could make all sorts of changes without much effort. And the big thing I wanted to get across in the last video was models, proportions, and just making sure that, well, here's the neck. We don't know. We see the head. So it's very important that we get this head size right because we always want to be on model. And I will have Jim. And we always know his ears are where his eyes are. That was deliberately planned in the design process to make life easier for us so we know where things are. Easier. Always easier. Is that, what did Mark Twain, Mark Twain, I'm just thinking about Mark Twain, and I'm reading some work of his, and he had this curious philosophy where he believed that humans' conscience, that gnawing quality that won't let you sleep at night, if you have it, uh, really should be replaced by comfort. <laughs> there was one other thing that I that he mentioned, but I, I I've forgotten it. I just remember comfort. That that would be more useful to us as the kind of species we are, which is you know what kind and all that we're capable of. All right, so it looks like. It looks like some kind of drawing. I'm not certain it is the drawing that should be here. And let me see. So that's that. That's that last. If you remember, we had that last layout, which I'm now. And what's so wonderful about these layout drawings? If you, you could. Right, so let's try, he snatches, oh, let's get some perspective, right? And the best thing with perspective is context. So let's get a little context. We'll go, we'll put some more drawings in here. Yeah, and so, I don't know, maybe we should try one more. I mean, again, for context. And I love just, and I'm trying to be within the field. There's the cutoff, there's a hand, and there's a hair. You can cheat the hair, give it something. Right, and the elbow, and this shoulder. And something weird with his head, because we know the action is he's going off this way. But there's something I don't like. Something is talking to me. And that's this thing. I want to keep this up here. And it's pushed back, so it's back there. The shoulder is going to be low. We want to try to get this. Well, it kind of does the trick. The problem is, is that you see this. It's a close-up. We want to try to we want to try to get as much uh, a dynamic movement as possible. 
So it's interesting to you and interesting to me. And this could actually, this, this could work. This could work. I could get away with this. Because if you're thinking this is going to move at one third of a second, will you notice it really or will you feel it? So my point is I want you to feel that. He grabs this thing, and I'm going to anchor one drawing here. I deliberately left the numbers out. I know what they are. I think that this, if we had to do a chart, I don't know if you can see charts, it would be 29, all right, 30, and then 31. It's 29. This has to be 31. Let's just do that. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I want to grab, I want to put one drawing here to anchor. I'm going to leave this and uh, do myself a favor. And so it's very clear. It's just obvious. I'm just doing this. How does he grab it? Right. Well, I'm just saying, I guess it has to be this way, which is a very clumsy way to do it. But it serves our purpose. And, and... Okay, so there it is. There is the big takeaway. It may not be pretty, and and all the other uh, decorative stuff that drawings could be, but it will absolutely get the business across. And if I could remember how to draw, it would even help me a lot. Okay, so he actually is going to he's going to go from this hand to here, which is pretty. So I may have to adjust this, and that's totally fine. And this is what the process is all about. Remember, I think we talked about examining our drawings, examining our actions, examining our motives, so that we don't live like our ancestors coming down from the trees, if you believe in that stuff. And uh, we are not just going to bow down to AI, because what is AI anyway, but the stuff that we make. Right? So, that's the hand. And I guess I need another drawing. Where did I put that drawing? That's the question. Here it is. This is the question. All right, so now, now the interesting parts come. I felt instinctually that we needed to do this. Just, it needed a drawing. And the rest... I'm just going to listen to the drawings to tell me where they could possibly go. I never want to. I'm, I'm already feeling a little restraint, a restraint around this area, this part where he's grabbing this device, this dart. Let's just call it what it is: a dart. And. And the reason for that restraint is so that we see it, we pay attention to it. If things are moving around much too fast, it's a little distracting, especially at one-third of a second. And we'll have to get some perspective in here. And I'm going to curve his body up a little bit. And I'm already going to cheat this. Big time. I don't know exactly how that's going to look right now. But I think it's going to be like that. And let's, let's do this. Okay, so let's put this in context a little bit. And, and give it a flippy flip to see what isn't working. And remember, I remember we started... With this drawing being light, 
and now we know y. So this is already going to be here. And we're going to erase this with our stinky object, our wonderfully stinky object. And you know what to do. Wash your hands after you play with it. And don't put it in your mouth like pencils, which I love. I love to put pencils in my mouth. Also keeps uh, pencils in my mouth, helps keep my tongue from falling out. Yeah, do you see, it just, you could feel, you, it just comes, it just happens. Now we know that this head is off model, and that's okay, because that's what drawings in context help us, remind us what's going on to keep us honest. We're not we're not ignorant of what's coming and what has come, if you know what I mean. Previous drawings, future drawings, they're all connected, all related, just like all the, the hidden roots of trees and plants and water and rock and earth and all of that stuff's connected and we're connected to that. And this, this just, wow, right? And we did that together. I don't even know exactly how that, that alchemy worked, but you can't, I don't have any, I don't have any words to say. Look at that. Boop. The, that one, that, this was just instinct, which comes over years of trying. And we have to listen to that. And what happens is that it's just the pacing, this pacing, the spacing is just enough to slow this thing down for a moment, one third of a second, and off we go. So where is, so I guess I have this drawing to do from here to here. And let's try it. Let's. Let's just be brave. We know it's 29 and we want to do 30 and this shouldn't be hard at all. And this, oops, am I right? 29, 30. So this is going to be here. So how do we want to do this? Let me, let's, I need, well, hold on. I need, I need my box. I need my field guide. <laughs> when I think about you know, these giant studios, Pixar and, and all this other stuff. And and here I'm working. <laughs> well, this is what how it happens. I just, you have to laugh. Keep a sense of humor about it all. All right, so how do you want to do it? This hand has to go up here. Very difficult to see. And the first thing I would do is the body. Let's tilt the body. He knows his shoulders here, so maybe his shoulders there. Right? And we'll tilt it down, and that, that's the shoulder point. And this is going to come across. Let's say it's there, so it'll be here. And we can make a little hand, a box for the hand. And here's this elbow, and here's this elbow. So let me see. We want to swing it. Right, so his elbow is going to be, let's say his elbow's here. So you have a little clarity, this little open window here to make sure that you got something going on. This uh, dart tube. Well, I mean, somebody's going to have to remind me what the name of this thing is. A blow, a blow dart, dart. <laughs> My mama told me. Oh, that that bird! Don't get me started. It's not even. I'm not even doing that. But I did rip so much of those great Warner Brothers cartoons inspired our work in Courage. I mean, <laughs> my mama told me. To get something for dinner. There's <laughs> no, no way who does that anymore. You never hear this in the street when you're going down to Whole Foods. 
Okay, so his head is there, and I think it's about the hand, right? And let's see, let's see if we just put the hand in. And I just feel, oh, well, it's not exactly a nice place. Let's think about halves. Let's see, if I do this, I don't want this to be too long. Right? The only thing is I don't want the head to interfere with the hand. So let's say we put, maybe I should put the light back on. Well, that's kind of interesting. I like that his shoulder goes up like that, but I don't, I don't think that it's realistic. So I want to take it down. I want to just take it down and keep this one here. And if this hand is here, right? So this, so let's try to put it here. And it's going to move fast, or maybe we go here, and it's and it's perspective. We can always move this, this hand, this uh, object to give us more room. We don't. We're never afraid. We're never afraid to make adjustments. This is in perspective, and you can do fingers that go loopy, groupy, 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 because I know this is looking. Wow, we did it. I think we did it. And he's, of course, looking at this thing. So let's put this back here. And we're constantly giving ourselves references, reinsurances like pacifiers or, or sticks, if you like to chew on those, uh, just to help get you through to stabilize the mind and to keep your mind occupied with other things like chewing on a stick or chewing on something else you chew on wisdom chew on this thought they say right you ever hear that does anyone say that anymore so the angle of his head and the angle so he's tilted so i'm just going to tilt his head a little bit more i'm not going to give it away but he's looking at this object here which is the dart right you get very excited with this stuff and and you make the process easier because I love sharing this stuff with you because if I die, when I die, you can all use this as a reminder of what not to do. Almost right. Almost right. He gets up pretty fast. I'm not certain about that, so let me do this. Oh, I wanted this video not to be so long, and it's going to turn out to be rather longer than longer-ish. But I wanted to get this right, and it's almost right. That's what I... almost doesn't count. It's like when I used to play competitive basketball, small school division B, which was high school, but it was, perf it was you know, the junior leagues, but very serious recruiting, uh, we would say a shot that didn't go in, almost went in, doesn't count. So there it is. I said a lot for nothing, for very little. Even this doesn't feel right to me. I'm doing an in-between, but it gets very difficult to see what's what. Okay, so here's the eye, here's the eye, right? So let me see. Let me try this. It's just a matter of angle. And I think that will do it. Okay, and then I have the ear, so that's a good landmark. And his eyes, eyes, so I know his eye was off. So, there it is. It happens. It comes through. With effort, reward. Or, or it really, again, it's perception. What if it's not reward? It's, what do you deal, how do you deal with that? Oh, it's not exactly the way you wanted it. Oh, uh, but we're always taught that we should have it exactly the way we want it, right? That's what you do, that's what I hear in the, in the ads. You know, we're constantly told this, this nonsense. 
Nothing is ever exactly the way we want it, right? How could it be, really? I could take suggestions, of course, so... It looks kind of wonky. Let's see how wonky it can can be, how, how wonky it actually is. In context. That's our keyword. Like if there was the if we were on the show of shows, a little a little dirty birdie would drop down with the word the magic word of uh, today's uh, animation. Oh, did you see that? Anybody see that? How can they? It's happened so fast. Yeah. Yeah. So there it is. So all this needs, yeah. So all this needs now is 31 numbering. E32. E33. E34. Okay. We did it. Congratulations. Until next time, stay animated.